Uh, since App Engine is a new product, I'd like to mention really quick what it is. App Engine is a system for exposing Google's scalable infrastructure to your server-side web applications. It's our effort to make the cloud more accessible by allowing you to run your apps within Google's cloud. Now, you might wonder, why do we think the cloud needs to be more accessible? Well, something that we noticed at Google is that it's currently pretty hard to create a web application. There are significant challenges you face and a number of tasks you have to accomplish to get even the simplest web app off the ground. Now, the first task, which is pretty obvious, you have to write the code for your app. But you're all expecting that. However, once you've got the code written, you've got to set up your Apache web server, set up your MySQL database, create your tables in the database, set up the configs between the web server and the database, set up the scripts to run your machine, find a way to push a new version of your code when you make changes, keep the machine running, all, all of that. And that's the technical challenge you face in setting up just the, the simplest web app that you want to try out. Now, once you've solved that technical challenge, you've got another challenge. You've got to find some place to actually run this app. And that means getting machines, either physical or virtual machines, somewhere. That usually means one other thing. You've got to pay somebody to do that. And even for the smallest application that receives only a few requests a week, you usually have to pay someone to try it out and get it up and running. So now you've solved a technical challenge, and you've solved a financial challenge, your biggest challenge is still up ahead. You've got to maintain this website as it grows. Servers crash, hard disks fail, and the problem only gets worse as your app grows. As you start getting more traffic, you've got to reshard your database, you've got to get more machines, find a way to run your app on multiple machines, and so forth. All of that represents a lot of hassle for just creating a web application. That's what we wanted to make easier. And so I think that indicates what our design goals were with that vision. There are three. One, let's make it as easy as possible to create a web app. Let's make it easy to scale that app as the app gets bigger. And finally, let's make it free to get started so that anybody can create an app inside the cloud. Now, although that was a little bit theoretical, uh, I'd like to show you App Engine in action, so you can see what it feels like to use App Engine. The first thing that you do when using App Engine is you develop locally. Using the text editor IDE that you're already familiar with, you write the code on your local machine, and our emulated APIs allow you to complete the, completely test the whole app and do all of your development on your machine. When you're ready and you've got an app working that you like, you deploy the app to Google. This is as simple as pressing a button or running a command line script. Your application is now deployed to our servers and it's running there for you to use. After that, you're done, you've launched. Your app is now running and you can send the URL to anyone you want and start using it immediately. You can look at our consoles to see how your app's doing and check your logs and so forth. And the really exciting thing about this is if you thought ahead a little bit when you were running your app, and you used our APIs carefully and you thought a little bit about scale, that app you just uploaded is ready to scale to millions of users with no further work needed by you. That's part of the promise of how we think we're making the cloud more accessible by making it more easy for you to take advantage of the cloud's power. So since our launch a month and a half ago, we've seen some interesting things built on App Engine. So maybe now I can ask the question, what can you build on App Engine? What can you do? Well, here are a couple of examples. Uh, the first example is TweetWheel. This is an application that someone built which provides a graphic visualization of your friends on Twitter. It shows your networks between them and so forth. It runs completely on App Engine, fetching the data from Twitter, putting it together on the machine, and rendering it out to you. Another example uh, that we've seen built on App Engine is Literally. Literally allows you to browse web pages on your machine and save them to your mobile device to view later on. Again, the whole thing is written and run on, runs on App Engine. Now, another reason why we built App Engine is because we wanted to use it ourselves here at Google. It's still hard even at Google to create a web app and get it out there really quickly for everyone to use. So one example of that, of how we used App Engine ourselves, was after the tragic earthquake in the Sichuan province a couple weeks ago. A couple of Googlers noticed that the relief workers were having difficulty 
contributing the information from the field that they were finding. And so over the weekend, these engineers created an application that allowed them to contribute their information and families to check and look for loved ones. I think it's an interesting example of how you can move very quickly with that engine. Now, we've also been working with partners because we want to make sure that we're getting the whole view of what it takes to get in an application working on an app engine and meeting your business needs. One of those partners is Pixverse, it's a widget maker. And here's what they had to say after playing with App Engine. We got a prototype of our new PixChat open social app running in App Engine and on the Hi5 sandbox this morning. It took about three hours to get the app serving and our database code converted over. So we're excited to see more from them as time goes on. Now, I also want to point out that App Engine is just our first step towards making the cloud more accessible. There's a lot more that we want to do, and a lot more that we want to make available. We want to make it possible for you to do to process large amounts of data within App Engine. We want to make it possible for you to work with rich media, videos and photos. <coughs> we want to give you access to more infrastructure services so that you can do more in your application. In essence, we want to provide everything that rich, complex web apps need to scale in the cloud. Now, App Engine as it exists today is still in a preview release. We've got a lot of work left to do and a lot of challenges ahead of us. However, since our launch a month and a half ago, we've gotten really great feedback in the community. We've heard what you guys are interested in and what you want. We've read how a lot of posts in our group and on blogs and so forth. And we've, we've really been taking that information in and we really appreciate it. In response to that feedback, I'm announcing today that we've created two new APIs for App Engine that should be available sometime this week. Those APIs are the Memcache API and the Image API. The Memcache API allows you to use Memcache from within App Engine, the industry standard for distributed memory cache. It allows you to scale your applications much more quickly than you could before. We're also providing an image manipulation API in response to your request, which allows you to resize, crop, and otherwise alter images efficiently from within App Engine, which opens up more types of apps. Now we've also heard, resoundingly in your feedback, that you'd like to know more about how much App Engine costs. You'd like to pay for it. That means you'd like to have a billing for App Engine. So in response to that, today I'm announcing our expected pricing for App Engine. Now we're still working on billing, and it's not complete yet. However, we hope to have billing done before the end of the year. When we do have billing done, this is what we expect to charge. Now, I want to emphasize that App Engine will always be free to get started. We expect that App Engine will allow you to serve around 5 million page views a month and about 500 megabytes of storage to get started. But if you go beyond 5 million page views, this is what you can expect to pay. Now, to give you an idea of that, for a typical application that's using, that's serving another 5 million page views beyond the initial amount that we give you, it might cost around $40 a month, depending on the application. Now, the other announcement that I'd like to make, based on your feedback, is we've heard that you really want to try App Engine out. Since announcing it a month and a half ago, we've had over 150,000 people sign up to our waitlist to try out App Engine. So in response to that, today I'm announcing that App Engine is now open for anyone to sign up and use immediately. There's no longer any wait. You can log in immediately and start using it. So please, log in, create something, let us know what you think, give us that feedback, and let us know how you would like to make the cloud more accessible and easier to use.